Revolutionary episode. Um, just got out of bed and with a simple idea of I am pro math. Pro math. So, you know, we're debating a lot of things as a society here politically, ideologically, and we're using ideas and emotions. We're going, anger, anger. I feel this way. I am right. You are wrong, right? We're all doing that, right? Well, we need a system. We need a scoring system so that we're all on the same page, right? We're not agreeing on facts, we're not agreeing on reality. So, we need something. Oh, that's right. We invented math. Human beings invented math. So let's use math. Math is what's going to determine the winner of things and who's right, right? We're going to use math, okay? So in basic democracy, if you have more votes than the other person, you won. And if you have less votes than the other person, you lost. So Donald Trump, I'm sorry, 2020, you lost, dude. You're a fucking loser per the math. I'm not not saying anything political here. I'm not saying anything emotional here. I'm not saying anything about you as a person. I'm not saying anything about MAGA Republicans. I'm not saying anything about anybody. I'm saying something about math. The numbers equal that you lost. That's how the math works, right? And if we're really being honest, you didn't win the popular vote in 2016 either. But because of our system in the Electoral College, you won. But so technically, you never won the popular vote a single time, dude. You're a loser. Per the math. I'm pro-math, okay? Climate change. We're all debating the science. Science is kind of like math. It's just what it is. It's just what it is. Now, it's got more variables, so it's a little hard to tell, but you can't tell me with math, two plus two doesn't equal four. Two plus two equals four every fucking time. That's how math works. So if scientists are looking at the math of the warming of the planet and the consequences of it, we're watching Pakistan. One third of the country is underwater because of climate change. One third. Imagine one third of your neighborhood is now underwater because of climate change. That's math, guys. Climate change is real. Do the math. It's math. There's more forest fires every year. There's more droughts every year. There's more water drying up. There's more fish dead. There's more uh, 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 warmer oceans. The temperature's hotter. The, The air has more smog in it per particles. We are polluting our own fucking backyard. It's math. It's pro math. It's the fucking math. Use numbers. Climate change is fucking real. And who should pay for it? Well, let's see. The rich, because what did the rich do? The rich used math to accumulate all the monies, all the numbers of the monies into their bank accounts while they destroy the planet through industrial revolution. So you put down steel beams and you put down smog and you put down oil and you put these things and you and you built an economy, which is great and it helps and it gives people jobs. But we also destroyed the environment. So we need to take some of that money that we made from destroying the environment and put it back into cleaning and nurturing the environment or we're all going to die. That's what the math tells us, okay? So let's start getting math smart before we all die, okay? I'm pro-math. Love math. I don't know shit. Right now, 76. Thinking. I don't know shit. I don't know shit. 